Hi everyone, it's Erin from Tomar, and today we're going to be going over our eyelid series of lights, how to choose the best one for your application, and how to program them. Let's get started. The Tomar eyelid is Tomar's multifunction, multimodal warning and scene light. With four independently controlled modes, three colors, black or chrome bezels, and four optics depending on application, we are going to review ordering options, functions, and programming. In this particular box, we have one of our eyelids. It's a horizontal mount eyelid in red, blue, white. It also comes with your bezel. This one came with chrome, but you also have your choice of black as well. Your mounting hardware, your ceiling gasket to waterproof the wire holes. Last but not least, this is our mounting template. This is actually a great tool for anyone who's doing the install. You'll put it right onto the vehicle, drill your holes for mounting and wiring, and peel it right off. Doesn't leave a residue, and you have the perfect install. Let's go into how to select the proper eyelid for your application. When selecting an eyelid, the final orientation of the light should be considered. If the light is going to be mounted horizontally, the horizontal optics should be selected. If the final desire is to have a light which shines down toward the ground from a flat surface, the horizontal 13 degree angled optics should be selected. Alternatively, if the light is going to be mounted vertically, the vertical optics should be selected. This makes sure the optics disperse the light output in a wide, flat spread, no matter how the light is mounted on the vehicle. If the light is going to be mounted vertically on a flat surface and the light is intended to shine forward, such as mounted on the side of a push bar or bumper wing for intersection warning, the vertical 13 degree optic should be selected. Once optics are chosen and the light selections are made between two or three colors, bezel selection is last. Your eyelid includes your choice of chrome or black bezels. Now we'll go into how to program your eyelid. The eyelid has five different wires. Function modes are going to be accomplished through your red, blue, red and blue, and white wires. Black will be your ground, and yellow will be your programming and sync wire. To program the eyelid, attach your black wire to ground. Then select the mode wire you want to program along with the yellow programming wire. For example, for programming mode one, we're going to apply positive to the red and yellow wire. For programming mode two, we're going to apply positive to the blue and then add the yellow wire in for programming. For programming mode three, we are going to apply positive to the red, blue, and yellow wires at the same time. The eyelid will flash several times to notify you that you've entered programming mode. Remove only the yellow wire from positive while keeping the mode wire or wires continuously powered. The eyelid will now flash in the current flash pattern that mode wire is set to. Use the yellow wire and the same positive power source to tap forward through the 25 flash rates, or double tap the yellow wire to reverse through the table. To toggle dimming mode, hold the white wire to power at least three seconds, then release. To go back to full power, hold again for at least three seconds and you'll get the visual clue that you're back to full power. At any time to get back to the factory default programming mode, hold the yellow wire for at least three seconds and remove. Repeat this process for each of the three programmable modes you wish to change. To change the color of the fourth mode, which is designated steady burn, enter programming mode by connecting black to ground and positive to the white and yellow wires. Remove the yellow wire from positive and use it to change the color, the same way we previously changed the flash patterns.
a long hold of the yellow wire will toggle dimming mode. Multiple eyelids can be programmed at the same time by connecting them together and completing this process. For a sinking eyelid, simply connect them through the yellow wires on either the same flash pattern or same flash pattern with opposite phases for a wigwag effect. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Tomar U. We hope you found the information helpful. If there's a video you would like to see, please go to tomar.com to submit your requests. Goodbye for now from Arizona.